Captain Ruby Con here with Tech Out. This is going to be my Beta 1 of iOS 13 follow up video. I've been using Beta 1 for a week now. It is Monday. The WWDC event and the release of Beta 1 was last Monday. So I've been using this for a full week non stop um, as my daily driver. And so far, I haven't had any major issues that made me want to uh, uninstall it or switch to a different device. So, so far, iOS 13 Beta 1 is pretty stable for a beta. Being said, for a beta, there are still bugs, there are still issues, but they are definitely um, something you can work around. It's not something that's going to prevent you from using your device. There are not really any big usability bugs. There's a couple here and there with like the battery charging indicator not always working right. A lot of people have had issues with that. Mine seems to have started working again. There's some apps that crash, some things that just don't work quite yet um, or don't work well quite yet. But other than that, everything has been functioning pretty good. Um, very nice and smooth. Everything loads like it should. Everything is opening. Um, all the apps seem to be compatible. I haven't really had any app compatibility issues. Um, so good job there. Settings is working pretty good. No lag or stutter or anything like that. Everything has been running overall very well. Um, battery life is lasting me all day just like it did in iOS 12. So no real noticeable battery life drops or anything like that. No real noticeable increases either. It's about the same um, in the beta. So hopefully after the beta we'll see a little bit of an increase in battery life. Wi-Fi and LTE connectivity have been just fine. No Wi-Fi drops, no LTE drops, no issues with apps loading or internet loading or anything like that when I have a connection. So that seems to be um, improved over iOS 12. Again, a lot of people in iOS 12 were having issues with LTE and Wi-Fi dropping or saying they were connected and just not having a strong signal. So that seems to be fixed here in iOS 13. Hopefully we'll see that roll out to all the devices um, and everybody will get a fix for that and not have those issues anymore. But that is iOS 13 beta 1 follow up. So far so good. Looking forward to beta 2 next week to see if we get any big changes or fixes or anything like that. This has been Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.